En première ligne face au réchauffement climatique, les villes où l'exposition à la hausse des températures y est jusqu'à deux fois plus élevée qu'à leur périphérie. Trafic routier, rareté ou absence de fontaines ou d'espaces verts, restitution de la chaleur du béton et du bitume, les villes cumulent tous les handicaps pour résorber la chaleur, surtout en été. How do we design our public spaces and how do we make sure that the buildings have uh, are uh, better insulated, thermally insulated to protect the people inside. But generally bringing temperatures down in cities by using special types of materials and technologies, but also nature, 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 and water in the surface to bring temperatures down. We should keep air conditioning like medicine giving it to people when they really need it and really keeping it at minimum use. Des mesures d'autant plus urgentes que la moitié de la population mondiale vit déjà dans de grands centres urbains en passe de devenir hostile aux personnes vulnérables. First thing keep what we've got and the second thing is to try to introduce more uh, nature and blue areas into cities. And a lot of our tarmac in cities is also very dark and the more darker surfaces that we have in cities the more heat they will absorb. We could start by just painting our roofs white. That could be in the form of green walls, green roofs, small street parks, shaded trees. We can think about depaving, uh, so removing some of the pavement that we have in our cities. Actually introducing blue areas into cities can be a bit faster than growing the nature that we need in cities to support us. Certaines villes tentent de relever le défi et ont mis en œuvre des politiques publiques spécifiques d'adaptation au changement climatique, comme Malmö, Paris, Barcelone, Lisbonne, Bogota ou Kuala Lumpur.